What is going on? I'm Zed Mott, and we are sitting here on the Tom's account yet again. We're going to move into version 2 of how to use Everspark. If you haven't watched version 1, please check the cards above and the comments below. I'll leave a link to the other video. But now that we've got this mastered, or at least we've gotten the basics under our belts, what we're going to move on towards is what's called the Houdini hack. I used to call it the ninja hack. The community likes to call it the Houdini hack. Same difference. So what we're going to do is take on what we have learned yesterday, and we're going to implement it in a very cool and interesting way. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to try and target this cannon. Now, using our 10.5 tiles knowledge, we understand that Everspark's going to stand somewhere about here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to drop a smoke that's going to end somewhere about here so that when she walks out of smoke, she's going to execute her hack and then we're going to re-smoke her. So we'll essentially only use two smokes and Everspark will be back underneath smoke. This is very handy for saving GBE. You can also combine it with troops. Spoiler alert, I've already recorded an attack on my main account and I will be combining that in a moment. So we're going to drop our smoke right about here. We're going to drop Everspark into there. We're going to push the button and flare that back cannon. She's going to pop out. Oh, I just... See, you have, that's the thing. You've got to be very, very careful on this. And But the, the beauty of it is, if you smoke too early, it's not a big deal. Everspark saves her life to hack another day. Let's show you one more time. Hopefully, I can get this a little bit better. Just trying to be very, very, very careful. Let's get the hack out this time. See, that's called the Houdini hack. She walks out of smoke, she hacks something, and then you cover her. So now, we can now hack other buildings, and we've only used two smokes. Obviously, this is better when you're farther from shore, so let's just do it one more time. We will get our handy dandy, um, let's go and get our drawer out. So what we're going to do this time is we're going to measure exactly the same. We're going to try and get this back cannon back here. So we're going to go three, six, nine. She's going to stand somewhere about right here. So as soon as she gets to that area, we're going to have our smoke end right about here. Lots and lots of things will be in range, so it'll be a bit dangerous, but we're going to give it a shot. Let's just change my screen a little bit so that I can actually have the details on it. We're going to go into here and then she's going to be standing three, six, nine, somewhere about right here. Obviously, she won't be standing on top of the cannons. Let's give it a go. We're going to press the button. We're going to flare that back, back cannon. I'm hoping, I'm actually using the screen here so that I can hopefully, hopefully, this is going to be very, very tight, and hopefully she gets the hack out. Look at that. That's that's a Houdini hack. And that's all about knowing where the edge of the smoke is and where she's going to stand. So hopefully that is something that will help you. Um, another thing you can do, for example, is you can actually Houdini and double hack, which is even more dangerous. And we'll briefly look at that a little bit later on. Now, one of the things to be aware of is that Everspark often does not walk all the way to a flare, when that can be extremely, extremely frustrating. Maybe you damage this cannon back here, and you flare to here, hoping that Everspark's gonna walk, and Houdini hack, and so you leave your smoke super tight, like this, she'll actually end up stop right here. It happens all the time, and that's my number one issue with Houdini hacks, is that if you don't give her enough room to walk out of the smoke, actually, let's just try that. Let's see if I can actually duplicate that. Hopefully, I can get my, my about close. We're going to use Everspark. We're going to drop her, and I'm going to try and keep my smokes super close. Knowing her, she's probably going to get there and do what I want her to do. See? Look at that. She did not walk to the flare. She stayed underneath. And as a result, our Houdini hack did not come out. If you had troops following along behind her, you'd be screaming at the game right now. I can't believe I actually managed to duplicate that or replicate that. Or I always get confused by that. So the number one easy way to fix that is when you're going to Houdini hack, drop Everspark and give her a nice gap. Let her walk out of that smoke. She's gonna walk out by a good tile. Oh, look at that, she did it again. That is, it's so frustrating. It's so frustrating. She doesn't get to the tile, she stops, 
and she dies. Bad, bad danger. So even though that time you saw I gave her a tile or even two, did not walk all the way to the flare. And it can be incredibly frustrating. So we're going to do it one more time. This is why you need to be very, very cautious about how you use Everspark and make sure that she actually walks out of the smoke. She walks out and then we re-smoke her. Now, one more thing you can do is you can do exactly the same thing and you can double hack. Um, it all depends if you have troops with you or not. If you have troops with you, you're probably going to have a bad time. I'm not going to cover this in great detail in this video, but we're going to bring Everspark. We're going to leave all of our troops behind and we're going to try a double hack. So what we're going to do here is we're going to damage this defense. We're going to drop our smoke into here. We're going to drop Everspark, press the hack button, bring her back into about here. Actually, I'm supposed to throw a flare. Now she's going to walk out of the smoke, do her hack, do her double hack, and then we're going to re-smoke her. Now I have not talked about double hacking yet, so we're actually implementing the double hack, which I haven't talked about, but the Houdini hack does work and you can expand upon it and do very very good things. I will talk about double hacking and triple hacking and sex tuplet hacking in my next video but for this one I wanted to stick to Houdini hacking. Just a bit of a warning, I've sworn more at Boom Beach doing Houdini hacks than any other combo of skills in the game so if you're struggling with it you're not alone. It is something that's difficult to master. But anyways, I'm going to switch to my main account now. I'm going to show you an attack I've already recorded, which went better than I would have hoped. And we're going to go over an operation attack. And this is the number one Houdini hack that comes to mind for me is on Rogue. And that is where you want to get this rocket launcher right here. And then maybe if you're lucky, you can carry on behind the core and get some more defenses. But all we're going to worry about is targeting this one specific rocket launcher. Let's just show you live so that we can get through all this. So this is the common path. You'll see I've got tons and tons and tons of spare GBE here. So we're going to mark, get rid of all of these mines. I'm not terribly good at this attack, but we're just going to try it and see how it goes. And hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we can get back there and clear out that rocket launcher. So we've cleared all of the mines for the path. Now what we're going to do is we're going to mark this rocket launcher. Eversparks. Range is 10.5 tiles, nothing anywhere close is damaged, only the shield gen, which Everspark obviously won't target. And now we're going to walk up and hopefully Houdini hack that rocket launcher up by the core. Now how we're going to do that is Everspark obviously walks faster than Zuka's, and so she will come out of smoke, she will do the hack, and then we will smoke to cover up the rest of our Zuka's. And that is our primary goal here on this attack. We're gonna drop our Zookas up, we're gonna bring Everspark, hopefully not get fried by those lasers, and then we're gonna get rid of that rocket launcher. This is the number one reason, number one time that I think of using the Houdini hack. Um, maybe you guys have other ones, I don't know, but this is the one that comes to mind for me as the one of the most useful uses of Everspark's Houdini hack. Now, one of the things you need to be aware of is Everspark often does not walk all the way to the flare. So you need to make a little bit of space and she's gonna walk out. Hopefully, 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 look at that hack, that rocket launcher. And now we can carry on and get back in here with our Zookas and hopefully, 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 get back in there. If we have some ladies left, let's get rid of you and get rid of you. I love the remote hack, did I mention that yet? And now we can come back in here and hopefully get rid of all of the things. I mean, we've done a pretty decent job. That's how you almost kind of sort of solo rogue. I'm not good at this attack. I did a fairly mediocre job, I would say. But we've now got behind rogue. Um, a little bit lucky because we happen to have the remote hack right now. And we've gotten behind rogue and set it up for someone to finish it. Now obviously that attack went way better than I could have hoped for. The remote hack was a huge, huge savior there. But the most important part is once you start to understand Everspark, the fact that she walks faster than Zuka's, once you understand her range, making sure nothing else is damaged, understand her targeting based on the highest percentage damage defense, you can start to string things together and make some fantastic attacks. Now just imagine if I would have been able to re-smoke and keep her alive. Anyways, hopefully that gets your imagination going a little bit. 
So that's that. Hopefully you learned something. And uh, let me know in the comments if you are looking for any other specific tips. If I misquoted something, uh, thanks again to everyone who pointed out that I said most damaged. I talked about the damage bar, but it's by percentage. Percentage, percentage, percentage. Anyways, that's it. That's all. I'm Zedmont. Thanks for coming in. Peace.